Morning all. All right, so may hear some noise in the background. I think somebody's got a, a wood chipper. It's that time of year. It's spring. It's that time of year where you thank nature for all of its protection during the winter by cutting it to pieces and sending it through a wood chipper. All right, so uh, we have five games starting tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. An hour later, next game gets started up, and then it's kind of spread out from there. We do have one 7.30 start. It's in San Jose. I'm expecting overtime. All right, so with the five games starting at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, we start with the Columbus Blue Jackets and the New York Rangers. These teams have split the first two meetings. This is the third of four. Uh, October 23rd, a 5-1 to one win for Columbus. That was when Columbus still had hope for their season. Uh, January 16th, a 3-1 to one win for the Rangers after that hope had been kind of snuffed out. Uh, the fourth and final meeting between these teams will be on April the 8th. For Columbus, they're 23-42-7. and seven. They're... Uh, away record is 9-22-5, so not fantastic, but better than what it was a couple months ago. Uh, their goal differential is a negative 89. They are 29 points behind Pittsburgh. I didn't put a percentage up there. I, I was putting up percentage chances of teams making the playoffs that are outside the playoffs, but there, there's, a, there's a zero. They've been, they've been eliminated. On the New York Rangers side, uh, they're 43-20-10 overall. Their home record is 21-12-4. Goal differential is a plus 49. They're 11 points clear of the New York Islanders in third place in that division. Their odds of winning the Stanley Cup, according to Money Puck, I went with Money Puck today, 0.9% chance of them winning the Stanley Cup. I'm kind of surprised it's that low. Uh, also at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, the Montreal Canadiens and the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, Montreal's won both meetings. They're coming off the shootout win last night over the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, November 19th, it was a shootout win for Montreal that night, 5-4. to four. And on February 24th, it was a 5-2 to two win for the Montreal Canadiens as well. Montreal 30-38-6 overall away from home. They are 14-21-3. They have a negative 58 as their goal differential. Uh, they're 16 points behind Pittsburgh for that final playoff spot. They have a 0% chance of making the playoffs. On the Philadelphia side, they're 28, 32, and 12. At home, they're 16, 16, and 5. They have a negative 41 for their goal differential. Uh, they are 14 points behind Pittsburgh for that final playoff spot. So this is a battle for the dart positioning. Uh, they have a 0% chance of making the playoffs as well, those Philadelphia Flyers. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Nashville Predators and the Boston Bruins. Boston won the first one 5 nothing on February 16th. So we have three. No mercy games that have taken place on this preview board today. I think that's the most I've had. Uh, and we'll see if we have some no mercy games tonight. Nashville's 36-28-8. They lost 5-0 against Boston on February 16th. They'll be looking for some measure of revenge. Away from home, they're 18-14-4. Uh, their goal differential is a minus 12. Uh, they're 5 points behind Winnipeg. They have a 4.6% chance of making the playoffs currently. Uh, the Boston Bruins, 57-11-5. At home, they're 33-3. So that's, I checked, it's good. Uh, their, their goal differential is a ridiculous plus 118. They are 22 points clear of Toronto. Of course, they've, they've clinched their division. They're on their way to clinching the conference as well. Uh, they have a 13.3% chance of winning the Stanley Cup, again, according to Money Puck. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between Tampa Bay and Carolina. I'm wearing the Canes. Uh, Carolina's won the first two meetings. And I feel like with the way these teams have been playing lately, I'm, I'm kind of torn on this one, but sure, I'll go with Carolina. Uh, they they won in a shootout on November 3rd, 4-3. to And then it was a 6-0 win on March the 5th. Tampa Bay, 42-26-6. They've lost four in a row recently. Uh, away from home, they're 17-19-1. Their road record is not great. They have a plus 23 as their goal differential. They're 11 points clear of Florida in third place. Uh, a 2.9% chance of winning the Stanley Cup for them. On the Carolina side, they are 47-16-9 overall. They have a 25-9-3 record at home. They have a plus 53 as their goal differential, so that's pretty gaudy. Uh, plus 3 above the New Jersey Devils in the divisional race, thanks to the New York Islanders beating the Devils last night. Uh, they have a 9.4% chance of winning the Stanley Cup, so they are one of the favorites. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Detroit Red Wings. The Detroit Red Wings won the first meeting 5-4 in overtime on December 28th. The third and final meeting between these teams will be on April the 8th. Pittsburgh's 36-27-10 overall. Away from home, they're 16-16-5. 
They are uh, minus one when it comes to your goal differential, and they're three points ahead of the Florida Panthers, who once again lost last night. Take some pressure off of them. They have a 1.9% chance of winning the Stanley Cup. On the Detroit side, they're 31, 32, and 9. Uh, their record has gotten really precipitously worse over the last month. Uh, they've, they've just fallen off the cliff, which we would have expected with the selling at the deadline. They're 17, 15, and 4 at home. They have a negative 29 for their goal differential. They're 11 points behind the Pittsburgh Penguins for that final playoff spot. And they have a 0% chance of, of making the playoffs. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific start between the Vancouver Canucks and the St. Louis Blues. These teams have split the first two meetings this year. Uh, St. Louis won 5-1 to one on December 19th. Vancouver won 3-2 to two in overtime on February 23rd. Vancouver 34-34-5 overall. Away from home, they're 17-16-4. They are 17 uh, goals below on the goal differential. So they've allowed 17 more than they've scored. But you know what? That's way better than it was a couple months ago. They are 12 points behind Winnipeg. They have a 0% chance of making the playoffs. Uh, St. Louis 33, 34, and 6. This is a Bedard uh, setup as well, where this is going to decide where they are in the standings. Uh, St. Louis at home 15, 16, and 5. They have a minus 32 for their goal differential. Vancouver right now is playing better hockey than St. Louis. Uh, 13 points back of Winnipeg for St. Louis. So again, if they beat Vancouver in regulation, they jump past them in the standings, but they still have a 0% chance making the playoffs. 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, we have the Dallas Stars and the Chicago Blackhawks. Dallas has won two of the first three, so this is the fourth and final meeting. On November 23rd, it's a 6-4 win for Dallas. February 22nd, it's a 4-3 win for Chicago. And March the 2nd, it's a 5-2 win for Dallas. Dallas is 39-20-14 and 14 on the season. Away from home, they're 21-10-5. and 5. Uh, They have a plus 47 as their goal differential. They are seven points clear of the Winnipeg Jets. So they're third in the division now. We'll see coming out of tonight whether they are still third. They have a 4.5% chance of winning the Stanley Cup. On the Chicago side, they are 24, 43, and 6 overall. At home, they're 14, 19, and 3. They have a minus 83 for their goal differential. They are 31 points back of Winnipeg and, of course, already mathematically eliminated. Uh, so, yeah, no playoffs for them, but we knew that was going to be the case. This one could be tough. This I'm kind of wanting to put a trap magnet here, but I'm not because Dallas should know better. They've already lost to Chicago once this year, but I have some concerns. Uh, 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific, the LA Kings and the Calgary Flames meet for the fourth and final time this regular season. A game Calgary has to win. Uh, in terms of victories thus far, LA's won two of the three matchups between them. On November 14th, Calgary won 6-5. On December 22nd, it's a 4-3 overtime win for LA. And most recently, March the 20th, an 8-2 win for the LA Kings. LA's 43-20-10 overall. Away from home, they're 18-11-6. They have a plus 22 in terms of their goal differential. They're three points ahead of the Edmonton Oilers in the standings. Uh, they have an 8% chance of winning the Stanley Cup. There are some Kings fans that would see that and say, yep, we'll take those odds. On the Calgary side, it's odd. They're 33, 6, 26, and 15 overall. Uh, at home, they're 17, 15, and 4. They have a plus 4 for their goal differential. They're 4 points back of Winnipeg for that final playoff spot. They have a 1.5% chance of winning the Stanley Cup. However, they only have a 19.7% chance of making the playoffs. So what's odd is, and again, this is all computer simulations, Calgary has a better chance of winning the Stanley Cup, according to those simulations, than the Rangers even though the Rangers have already clinched a playoff spot and Calgary has a less than 20% chance of making the playoffs. So one of those weird things and one of the reasons I really enjoyed the simulated results and seeing how it turns out. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between the Edmonton Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights. So Vegas won on Saturday. We'll see what happens in this one. They've been close. It's been 4-3 to three each game. First on November 19th, it's a 4-3 to three overtime win for Edmonton. On January 14th, 4-3 to three in regulation for Edmonton. And then March the 25th, a 4-3 overtime win for Vegas. Uh, the Oilers 42-23-9 coming off of a game against Arizona last night. Uh, they're 22-11-3 on the road. They have a plus 41 as their goal differential. They are five points ahead of Seattle. So pretty, pretty solidly in third place in the division. And still with visions of moving up and catching either LA or Vegas. 10.6% uh, chance of winning the Stanley Cup for Edmonton. So this is where things get interesting in that they have a better chance of winning the Stanley Cup, according to the odds, than Vegas. 
Uh, Vegas, 46-21-6 and six overall at home. They're 22-14-1. and one. They have a plus 37 as their goal differential. They're two points ahead of LA, so we could see movement there tonight. 3.8% uh, chance of winning the Stanley Cup. So again, um, they're first, but they're given a lower chance of winning the Stanley Cup than both LA and the Oilers. So fascinating. 10:30 uh, Eastern, 7:30 Pacific start between Winnipeg and San Jose, March the 6th. San Jose won this matchup three to two in overtime. The third and final meeting will be on April the 10th. Uh, Winnipeg 41, 30 and three overall away from home. They're 19, 18 and one. They are plus 12 in the goal differential category. They're four points clear of Calgary in the standings. They're four, five points clear of Nashville. A win tonight coupled with loss by Calgary would make them that much more comfortable. And it's San Jose. They should win this. They also were listed at having a 2.6% chance of winning the Stanley Cup. On the San Jose side, they're 19, 39, and 15 at home. Horrible home record. I, 6, 20, and 10. Dear Lord, even when you're tanking, 6 wins at home in 36 games is embarrassing. Uh, 77 goals below in terms of goal differential, so they're a minus 77. They're 32 points back at the Winnipeg Jets, so clearly there's no chance of them winning the Stanley Cup or making the playoffs. And yet they have better odds of winning the Stanley Cup than the Rangers. I kid, I kid. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.